student from Ogadugu in uh, Burkina Faso, West Africa, have sent me this system of differential equations, and he wants me to solve this using the operator method. Uh, in, in operator method, uh, the first step is to write this, uh, this system in operator method. Uh, if it define, uh, if the operator D is defined as uh, D over DT, uh, we can write this system as we can write this system as two DX plus DY minus X minus y equal to e to power minus t and this uh, equation we can write it as dx plus dy plus 2x plus y equal to e to power t so the first step is to write the system of differential equation uh, in operator form so, so this is the first step. And uh, the second step uh, is, to, is to eliminate y in this, uh, in this operator form and solve this equation for x. So in, in, in order for us to eliminate y, let's go ahead and write that system like these two on these two we can factor out x so we are going to have 2d minus 1x and in here we can factor out y plus d minus 1y is equal to e to power minus t and the second equation, if we factor out x, we are going to have uh, we are going to have d plus two x, and if we factor out y, we are going to have uh, we are going to have d plus one y equal to e to power t. So in, in, in order for us to eliminate y, let's go ahead uh, and multiply uh, the top by d plus 1 and the bottom equation by minus d minus 1. So if we do that, we are going to have d plus 1 multiplied by 2d uh, minus 1x plus d plus 1 multiplied by d minus 1y is equal to d plus 1 multiplied by e to power minus t and in second equation if you multiply it by minus d minus 1, we are going to have minus d minus 1 multiplied by d plus 2 x minus d plus 1 multiplied by d minus 1 is equal to minus d minus 1 multiplied by e to power t. Now, and we are going to have a y here. Now, if we, if we add these two equations, these two terms will cancel out. So, we are going to have We are going to have here, we are going to have 2d squared minus d plus 2d minus 1x is equal to d 
e plus 1 e to the power minus t and in the bottom we are going to have minus d squared plus 2d minus d minus 2x is equal to minus d minus 1 e to the power t. So now if we add these two, we are going to have, so if we multiply the minus in there, this will be minus, this will be minus, this will be plus, this will be plus. So here we are going to have uh, 2d and minus t will be plus d. And here we have uh, minus 2d plus d is minus d. So 2d squared minus d squared will be d squared minus d and plus d will cancel out. Uh, then plus 1 x is equal to is equal to d e to power minus t plus e to power minus t minus d e to power t plus e to power t. So here we are going to have d squared plus 1 x is equal to, now let's go ahead uh, and differentiate this, uh, d e to the power minus t is the derivative of e to the power minus t with respect to t, so this will be equal to minus e to the power minus t, so this will be minus e to the power minus t plus e to the power minus t then the derivative of that will be minus e to the power t plus e to the power t so here these two terms will cancel out and these two terms will cancel out so our d squared plus 1x will be equal to 0. So our d2 squared dt squared plus 1 is equal to plus plus x is equal to 0. So now we have a homogeneous uh, second order differential equation and the solution to that homogeneous dif second order differential equation uh, we can write that as r squared plus 1 is equal to 0 so r will be equal to i so x will be equal to c1 sine of t plus c2 cosine of t. So, so what we have done so far in first step, we wrote this equation in, the, uh, in operator form, and then the second step, uh, we got rid of y, and we solved the problem for x. Now, the third step is, on this step one, now we get rid of dy. So this is the value for our x. Let me write it here. x is c1 sine of t plus c2 cosine of t. So now, now in this equation, if we want to get rid of the dy, we can multiply uh, this equation by minus. So
So we are going to have, uh, if we multiply both sides of this equation by minus, we're going to have minus here. We're going to have minus, 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 and minus. Now, if we add these two equations, uh, 2dx minus dx will be dx. The divides will cancel out. Minus 2x and minus x will be minus 3x. And minus y and minus y will be minus 2y is equal to e to power minus t minus e to power t. Now here, uh, we can rewrite this equation as minus 2y is equal to minus dx plus 3x plus e to power minus t minus e to power t. So here, we can write this as we can divide both sides of the equation by minus 2. So this will be y will be equal to 1 half dx minus 3 half x plus uh, minus minus one half e to power minus t plus one half e to power t. Now we can uh, we can go ahead and plug the values of x in this equation and solve this equation for y. So d dx will be equal to the derivative with respect to time of x, which is c1 sine of t plus c2 cosine of t. So this will be equal to uh, c1 cosine of t minus c2 sine of t. So if we plug the value of dx here and the value of x here, we can solve this equation for y. So y will be equal to 1 half multiplied by c1 cosine of t minus c2 sine of t minus 3 half x. x is c1 sine of t plus c2 cosine of t minus 1 half e to power minus t plus 1 half e to power t. So this is the solution for y and um, here we can go ahead and uh, rearrange this and put the sines, sines together and the cosine together. So if we do that, we can have y is equal to, let's say, y is equal to cosine of t multiplied by, in here is one half c1 and in here is minus 3 half c2 then plus sine of t on this side we are going to have minus 1 half c2 and on this side 
we are going to have minus 3 half C1 minus 1 over half e to the power minus t plus 1 half e to the power t. Now we can simplify this a little bit more and let me write the sign portion first. Usually in the equation sign part is first. So y will be equal to minus if we add that together we are going to have 2 we are going to have C2 plus 3C1 sine of T and plus here we are going to have Two C one minus three C two for the cosine we are going to have two C one minus three C two cosine of t minus one half e to power minus t plus one half e to power t so this is our y and this is our x so this is the solution for this system of differential equations this is a very good example. And uh, this student also have sent me another request. In my next video, uh, I will solve that, uh, that problem. I hope you like it. Thanks.